Just doing a little comparison here of Auto Tuner and Kes 3. They seem to be the main tools people talk about. So if you've never seen Auto Tuner, this is what it looks like. It comes in a nice little compact case. Here's the tool itself uh, with my own branding on, which is nice. Um, you can order it from the factory like that, so that's a nice touch. Connection cable. And this is the cable for pinning out directly to ECUs. As you can see, it just plugs into the side of the tool and you just plug to the pins of an ECU. So, um, yeah, that's, that's all I do. It's a smart little tool. Going to jump straight into the user interface for it. Here we go. Okay, so it's an Audi A3 1.6 TDI 2013. Um, so you just choose Audi A3, what year it's from, what brake horsepower model it is, and it'll give you a couple of options. And we already know what ECU it is because we're doing it bench. So I've looked at the label. So we just choose the one EDC 17C64. Click, and here we go. Um, OBD boot bench, we're gonna bench. And here's the instructions. So we scroll down the instructions. What's really nice, the one we saw there said ECU location a little bit higher up. Um, so it actually shows us where it is in the vehicle if you wanna get it out. And here's the pinout itself, super simple. And you've got a rotate button. So if the ECU is in the vehicle already, then, um, you know, you, you don't have to like turn your laptop upside down. You can just rotate the picture to match the ECU. Um, we've got identify there just to check our, our wiring and that's absolutely fine. And we go straight into read. Um, what's beautiful about this is that Auto Tuner named the file with all the things you'd want to name it with already. So it said things like, you know, it's a LDA4 1.6 TDI um, EDC 17C64. Uh, and normally before I hit the save button, I would put the registration at the, at the front of the file, then hit save, and then it'd start reading just like this. Um, and why, why that's useful is if you ever go back to that vehicle and you search it by the registration, straight away you remember, oh yeah, it's an EDC 17C64 and so here we go anyway, it's reading on the bottom here, it's um, running along quite nicely. Okay, so it's coming towards the end of the read. I think it just does a, a little bit with um, some data from Watertuna's server. And there we go, that, that's the whole read. And that's, that's all Watertuna. Um, Okay, so we jump straight into KES 3. KES 3, different type box, quite a large box actually. Um, and here's the tool itself. It's a little bit plasticky. Um, this is a little bit cheaply made. Um, also like that at the front there, you can see there's like a claw sticking out. There should be two claws. I managed to lose one in the first week and um, they're quite easy to break. And these are the wires for the tool. They're, they're, they're a little bit nasty what comes with it. So one wire will plug into here and the other wire will plug in to your ECU. So you have to kind of find the right color wire and the right fitting on the fitting on the end as opposed to just a breakout cable with auto tuner. So here we go with the user interface. So again, we look kind of look Audi, A3, and, and you work your way through um, you could argue it's not as slick as AutoTuner's interface. Um, and the other thing is you, you could get there quick. There, there are shortcuts. I know, you know, it's an EDC 17C64 in the search bar at the top there. I could type that and LDA and, and you could narrow it down faster in this, but I just want to show you how, you know, Kez does it. Um, so we're choosing service mode. So we'd, how are we going to do this? And in a minute, so yeah. Do you want to see the manual? Yeah, of course we do. So this is going to give us our pinout again. Uh, again, their manual is like, it's a lot of information there. Um, maybe too too much compared to Autotuna. Straight in for the diagram. So here's the diagram. Um, you kind of zo zoom in and, and you can see what, what pins you have to put there with your wires. Um, there's no way you can't to rotate it. It's not going to tell you where the ECU is in the vehicle or anything like that. Okay, so we've hit ID like we did with the auto tuner. 
um, just to check we've got it wired up properly. Um, patience is the name of the game here because AutoTuner would have ID'd this and, and we'd probably be reading it, whereas we're with Kes3, we're, we're sort of like waiting. It's getting there. So you're thinking, have I wired it up properly or is it going to say I can't ID it? And like, in a minute when it's finished doing the stuff, yay. So it goes, yeah, we're, that, that's correct. That's the EC you're expecting. So we go to read backup and wait. <clears throat> I should mention about, because it's going to be quite a wait. What I should mention is that if I, people go, which tool, if I'm coming into the industry, which one should I have? Um, it's a really hard one to sell. Alien Tech have been around a long, long time and auto-tune and come into market about 2019. Oh, we're starting reading here. Okay, come to market about 2019. So for, if you're looking at doing the widest range of vehicles possible, and you're just going to have one tool, maybe KES 3. Um, because anything older than, say, 2009, I'll always grab hold of my KES 3, um, not Auto Tuner, um, just because they'll simply be doing, doing it a long time. Um, but as you can see, Auto Tuner with the new stuff is fast, is slick, the user interface is very intuitive. Um, when you talk about one tool, the reality is whichever one of the tools you choose as your first tool, you're always going to like, you can't do, you know, you can't get away with one tool. So most people either buy an AutoTune or a KES 3 first, and then as soon as they've got some money together, buy the other. Um, the other thing worth mentioning is um, yearly subscriptions, AutoTune is 100% free. So once you've, um, once you've bought the tool, no yearly subscriptions, whereas Alien Tech, the, the subscriptions are quite expensive and it, and it's, you know, kind of yearly. Um, so it's just something to mention there. And if you thought that you was going to be getting and a better support by paying for it, think again. And if you thought you was going to get uh, more released protocols like coming out for new vehicles because you're paying for it, think again. Auto tuners seem to be at the front for support and releasing you know, kind of doing the development work. So Auto Tuner will still do a lot newer stuff that Alien Tech still haven't, you know, brought out. Um, currently looking at, I don't know, SID 321. Okay, so it's coming to the end of the read. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Oh, yeah. So no automatic naming here. So you have to, it's not a biggie, but you have to type everything you want yourself. So if you want to remember what ECU it was, kind of, you know, what vehicle it come out of, you're manually inputting it yourself. It'd be interesting to see the read time difference between the two tools. So, come on. So I don't think it's either or tool. I think eventually you have to have both of them and and also a lot more other tools too. I mean, you can't just do the business with two, two tools. And there we go, side by side comparison.